Given that we live in a world where acceptance test driven development and behavior driven development exist, as we've established, we need to be able to get to test scenarios and test cases before we give the requirements to the developers. Actually, those test scenarios and test cases are the requirements at the level of detail that the developers really need them to be effective. How do we get from statements such as the system should calculate the premium discount for safe drivers down to the test scenarios at the, function, at the non-functional level as well as at the functional levels? If we take a look at that inside it, we look inside the statement, we identify that there's a function of calculating premium discount that is subject to a constraint that we have an approved rate table. That's a project external constraint because the rate table has to be approved by the state insurance board to be effective. We have another function that is required for this requirement or for this statement, and that is calculate the premium. And we're trying to get to a safe driver discount, which is governed by a business rule. A business rule is an internally mandated constraint, meaning someone in the organization has the authority to change what that safe driver discount is or when it applies. These are two examples of constraints we need to be able to get to. And ultimately, if I looked at the system should calculate the premium discount for safe drivers, and I'm trying to identify all of the informational pieces that are involved in that, I look inside that business rule and I identify that the components of the safe driver discount have to do with an effectivity date, meaning as of 1-1-2017, drivers with less than three moving violations in a five-year uh, time frame qualify for a safe driver discount. Anytime I have constants like numbers in a business rule, they are not going to become things that I'm going to put into my application. I'm going to identify that there are moving violations that I have to be aware of, the time span in which these moving violations occurred, I have to be aware of in order to be able to calculate the self-safe driver discount. If I were now to create a scenario, or actually a scenario uh, outline for testing this particular requirement or this business rule, I would write something like the calculate premium given date, that is the effectivity date, and violations, that is the number of violations, during the, over the five year or over the time frame, when premium is calculated, then discount. I can set that test scenario up and I can then seed it with a bunch of values to test whether or not it is done correctly. I have to figure out ways of getting to the internal constraints and of the internal constraints, figuring out how to quantify them. These are, that's mostly the easy part because they have numbers. They have things associated with them. I get into external constraints, things like HIPAA, which is a law regarding health insurance patients' uh, privacy that cause the, the insurance industries or health insurance industries no end of pain and suffering to implement. That is something that is extremely complex and extremely subject to legal interpretation. I'm going to have to involve a legal department. I'm going to have to involve a, a lot of uh, advice to get a lot of advice on what the law really means in order to figure out how can we get that expressed in any kind of measurable terms. How can we prove before we develop the application that this application will be HIPAA compliant? A couple of uh, examples of how we go from non-functional requirement statements in, uh, that are subjective into quantifiable and measurable or testable non-functional requirements. You have here the usability domain, which is one of the very big ones in the world of NFRs or non-functional requirements, having to do with the end user experience. We've identified in our, in our discussion with, with the subject matter experts that they want to have the links on their website consistently recognizable by being underlined or something like that. Well, we didn't want to subject the developer community to the restriction they have to be underlined, but the uh, user community has recognized they need to have requirements that are recognizable in some way, shape, or form by the end user. Trainability has to do with the learning curve. The learning curve I could express in some way that says an experienced underwriter should be able to process internet applications after a one hour introductory, a one day introductory seminar, something of that nature. You can see the dimensions of the learning curve by looking at the fact that we have identified a role, experienced underwriters with a level of qualifying characteristic, that they need a specific amount of training or that uh, with a minimum of a certain amount of training, they should be able to do a certain job, certain task. Flexibility has to do with how quickly the application can respond to changes in the environment. If I were to say the increase in traffic is going to go up to possibly even tenfold, the system will not require modifications to accommodate a tenfold increase in visitor traffic. Those are now requirements that you'll notice start to have numbers. They become, by, uh, by virtue of having the numbers, they become testable or verifiable. Availability. When we're talking about availability, we're typically talking about 
high risk systems where failure would be catastrophic, but even in systems where it's not necessarily catastrophic, where it could be very bad for the business. Customer service will be available for live chats from 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Monday through Friday. Be an example of how we would make availability testable. The reliability has to do with how often the application can fail. The nuclear power plant radiation monitor function must be available 24-7, 365. I think that's a pretty solid and desirable uh, reliability requirement if you're dealing in that world. What we're trying to get to here are these types of requirements are essential to the success of the project, and we have to find a way of expressing them in measurable terms, meaning terms that I can test before I try to develop the solution.